this video is part of my new book called Unofficial Beginner's Guide to Roblox Scripting. If you want to get this book, it's entirely optional. There are links in the description. Hello everyone, it is your favorite Roblox scripting teacher. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own instances. And if you're following along with the book, this is section 1.8, Creating Instances. So if we look at our Explorer, we can see that it holds a bunch of stuff, like spawn location and base plate. And if you click on it, it turns blue right here. And the stuff that it holds, it's called an instance. So spawn location right here, which is this thing, is an instance base plate which is this big gray square or rectangle looking thing it's also an instance and this camera and terrain are also instances and this workspace players lighting all of these are instances so generally everything that is inside of explorer is called an instance so now i'm going to teach you how to create your own instance so what you want to do is you want to go into workspace and you want to right click and you want to click insert object and then you want to click part and that right there is your new instance and you can see it right here in your game now note that we already did this kind of thing where we added that script into server script servers in the last video but right now what we're doing is we're adding a part into workspace so this is your new part and it's pretty cool it's just a part and that's how you can basically add an instance without using a script so that is how you can do it without using scripts that's how you can do it with just using roblox studio so now I'm going to answer the question of how do you do it using a script. So adding a part into workspace is pretty cool. It's not too fun. You're just right clicking. You're right clicking workspace and you're adding a part. But now how do you do it with a script? Now that's the question that we're going to answer. So I'm going to delete this part right here. What I'm going to do is I can press the Del key on my keyboard or I can right click this and I can press delete and that part is gone. Okay, so just as before, I'm going to go into server script service. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click insert object and I'm going to insert a script. And as you can see, it says print hello world. And we already know what this does. If you remember what this does, write it down in the comments below. This was in the last video. Now we're going to figure out how we can add that part back into workspace, but using the script. Okay, so let's start by getting rid of this print hello world. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm going to make my script size a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. I'm doing this by pressing control and then I'm scrolling my mouse wheel up and down. So now the lines are bigger. So if I type something, you can see it a lot better. Okay. So to add something into workspace, we need to use something called instance.new. Now, if you remember from the beginning of this video, everything inside of Explorer is an instance. So that part that we manually added when we right clicked workspace, clicked insert object and clicked part. So this part right here, this is also an instance. So we need to use something called instance.new. So I'm going to type instance.new. So that is our way of saying create an instance. And Roblox understands this as create a new instance. So then we need a parenthesis. And we also need a quotation mark or a pair of quotation marks. Now inside of the quotation marks, is the thing that we're trying to create. So in our case, we're trying to create a part. So we're just going to write P A R T. And that means create a new instance. And it says create a part. So this instance.new is saying create a new instance. And this part is saying create a part. So if you put it together, we're saying create a new instance called part. Now, the last thing that we need is the place the part will be put inside of. So for us, that's going to be workspace. So we're going to do game dot workspace and this game dot workspace right here is basically telling roblox to put it inside of this thing right here this workspace if you change workspace to anything else that's a service so players lighting replicated first replicated storage it will put it inside of there so for now we're just going to put it inside of workspace because we're creating a part and we're putting it inside of workspace so now if you play a game you'll see that a part has been added now, where is that part? I don't see it. Well, it's actually inside of the spawn location. So to fix that, I'm going to take my move tool. I'm going to click on the spawn location. I'm going to drag it out of the way. And we can see our part is right there. And if you look at the Explorer, you can see that the part has been added underneath workspace. It was just hiding under this big spawn location thing. And if you take your spawn location and you delete it. So if you right click this and you click delete, then you play our game again. You should see the part and you don't have to move the spawn location. It is right there. 
So that is how you can create a new part. So basically all we did was we said create a new thing, create a part, and put it inside of game.workspace. So we essentially said create a part and throw it inside of game.workspace. So there's our part and you can see that it is inside of workspace. So we've created one part. Now we can also create more than one part. All we have to do is just type this line again and we can type it right underneath this line. So put your cursor right here and press enter. You'll see the line two pop up and now just type it all over again. Instance.new part game.workspace. Now you've got two instance.news. What do you think this is going to do? Well, this is just going to create a new instance called part, put it inside of workspace. And this is just going to create another instance called part and also put it inside of workspace. So this creates two parts and puts them both inside of game.workspace. So let's click play and let's see both of our parts. Bam. You can see that there's actually two parts here. It looks like one, but there's actually two. If you click on this little triangle here, you can see that there's actually two parts inside of workspace. If you use your move tool, you can move it out of the way and you can see that there are actually two parts inside of workspace. Now, you can change this and you can create three parts or four parts. Now, instead of writing it all over again, we can select it, right click and click copy, or you can press control C on your keyboard, and then go to line three and then control V. That will create another part. Now, let's say you want more parts, just enter, control V, enter, control V. Now I've got five lines full of instance.new part game.workspace. All we're saying is create a new part and put it inside of game.workspace. We're saying it five times. So now if you click play, you will see that you actually do have five parts inside of workspace and you can knock them all down. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.